Hi. No, I'm not a figment of your imagination. I'm sorry if you all feel a little bit like that. I've been a little bit more um, sidetracked with my Instagram page. So I really hope you've been following that and not feeling like I've completely neglected you all and forgotten about you. Um, and it occurred to me this morning that I didn't even pop a video on before my last chemo session, which was a momentous moment because it's, it was my fifth one. Um, so let's start with that. Second of May, um, I have my fifth chemo, meaning I have one left of my treatment which is in 11 days. So I'm really sorry that it's been over a week since I posted. Um, yeah, I think I even said to you in the last video how much this particular treatment, the detoxophil, whatever it's called, tea we call it, um, really does take its toll on your body. Um, but I'm really, you know, I can see the light and that definitely pushes you on a little bit harder, for sure. Um, and that, the Instagram page has, has been great for me and it's, it's spurned a lot, of, a lot of stuff. A lot of people have been messaging me that have been asking for advice and been able to give them feedback. A lot of people have been thanking me for the inspiration, and, which is exactly why I wanted to do all this. So I'm really happy about that. One of my pictures has been shown on a charity site in Texas. I've been asked to write a story for another cancer blog site, trying to find the humour in cancer to help uh, fight it. So I've been working on that. And then last week, uh, Dean and I got a trip to London um, so I could be part of a Cancer Research UK campaign, so which is phenomenal and I'm just so glad that I've been able to turn this awful negative into some positives for other people and for the cause and awareness and anything else that can come from it. So I'm really, really happy about that. Um, I'm sure I look different in the face. I definitely feel lighter, brighter. Um, like I say, 10 days away from my last chemo and I just can't believe it's here. This last six plus months have been such a journey. And my hair's growing. Look, I've got hair. Or should I say peach fuzz? Um, my eyebrows are starting to come back. Still no eyelashes yet, but my body is fighting so hard and it's just making me fight as hard and if not harder to to make it through the rest of this journey um had a meeting with my oncologist last week my radiotherapy is looking like it's going to start the last week in june and that's for a month um, but i get a month off i have appointments well no, I've still got to go for a CT scan and and um, get checked ready for the radiotherapy. Oh, and here's some good news. I'm trying to think now from my last video what you know and what you don't. Okay, so I was having some issues with my scar and the flap from the surgery. So I ended up going in to see my surgeon and he, he said he, he felt that it was okay. But to be sure, uh, maybe I should pop and get an ultrasound. So we got that arranged and I went and had that done about two weeks ago, just over, two and a half weeks ago, somewhere around there. A um, little bit scary at first, the, they started to do the ultrasound and she stopped and said that she needed to do a mammogram. Um, first reaction to be honest was actually my heart went in my mouth because I thought she'd found something um, so I went through and ended up getting bilateral mammogram both 
both of them done and she wanted a specific extended one on, on my left breast. Again, that kind of made me wonder what she'd seen. Kind of hurt, because obviously I've got the fresh surgery uh, of the sort of mini reconstruction going on there, so it did, did hurt, definitely brought the water to the eyes. And then returned to the room for ultrasound on it. And guys, I can't tell you, I was clear. My mammogram, my next mammogram was due in October, so it's a little bit advanced from when it was supposed to be, but it was clear, both breasts clear, no return, no regrowth. And if you remember me telling you, with my rare breast cancer, it's the most aggressive type and can generally start to come back within six months. And I've got nothing, so that was amazing news. Um, did end up causing a bit of discomfort and dislodging my reconstruction a little bit, but I went back to see my surgeon and um, he's pretty sure that's going to settle back down, so fantastic news on that. And to be honest, I didn't realise how nervous and scared I was because I had a delayed reaction after that of quite... I was overwhelmed to be honest and got upset so fantastic news I haven't got to have a mammogram for a year now so technically even though my treatment's not finished I'm all clear I mean and I'm actually saying it now and I'm like oh my god yeah that's pretty good news So you can celebrate with me on that. Um, and then 11 days from now, that poison will be the last one to go in me. Oh my God, and I can see the light. It's coming to an end. Sorry. Um, and I've kicked its ass so hard, it's not going to come back and find me and chase me again anytime soon, I'll tell you that. So, guys, I'm sorry for not being in touch, but I've managed to be able to give you some just all good news, which is fantastic. And I'm happy to have been able to share it with you all. Please follow my Instagram page, Dark Inspires Light, because I'm posting an awful lot on there. Um... And you'll see, not only, you know, just because my treatment's over, I'm not going to stop this. There's a whole journey after this. The rebirth of my body for a one. Looking forward to getting my taste buds back. Those of you that know Dean and his cooking, I'm really struggling to taste his food right now because I've lost probably about 60 to 70 percent of my taste. On the plus side, I have dabbled in a couple of adult beverages. And we found this pear cider that tastes like cava or champagne or whatever to me. So Dean's like, oh, you're a cheap date. <laughs> uh, okay, so now you're updated and I'll try not to leave it as long next time. But please follow the Instagram for more insights, more up-to-date posts and keep in tune with um, my everyday life a little bit more so I hope all of you are doing good and those of you that are still going through treatment strive on because it does end um, and thank you all for listening and love to everyone and I'll speak to you soon bye